The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. The World Heavyweight Championship of Friday Night SmackDown is on the line in the Blue Brand's respective main event. And here comes the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton, who has been on a very cold-hearted hunt for months on SmackDown for a one-on-one -on -one contest to challenge Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. It's been well documented. You just heard in the video package moments ago, Randy Orton, a part of a triple threat match at Money in the Bank. Randy Orton also a part of the five-man elimination challenge last month at No Mercy. Both losses for the Viper, but ultimately Randy Orton believes he deserves a one-on-one, -on -one, in air quotes, fair opportunity against Drew McIntyre, and tonight he gets his wish. I'll bite Randy Orton. You could argue whether this is an earned opportunity or not, but he's certainly made a bed that he is gonna have to sleep in, ambushing Drew McIntyre multiple times over the last number of weeks, laying him out with the World Championship, an RKO through the announce table. What about last, or excuse me, 48 hours ago on SmackDown, the RKO on the equipment boxes back in the backstage area. Has Randy Orton bit off more than he can chew? Has he fired up the Scottish Warrior? Or does Randy Orton got the champion just right where he wants him? Nonetheless, about seven hours separate Drew McIntyre's hometown in Air Scotland to Cardiff, Wales. So McIntyre enters familiar grounds tonight in Principality Stadium. And what has been an incredible 2023. I'll bite you are looking at possibly the superstar of the year in Drew McIntyre and the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, marches down the aisle, hoping for another successful championship defense. Seven titles, excuse me, seven successful championship defenses for McIntyre this year. And that doesn't include where he won the world title, defeating Seth Rollins back at WrestleMania in February. What about the win inside the Elimination Chamber earlier this year? McIntyre has been in absolute wars month after month on Friday Night SmackDown. We have seen McIntyre down and out, but just when you think he is done, and just when you think the world title is out of the grasp of McIntyre, he has come out on the other end, surprising us all and retaining his gold. But will that be the same result tonight? Or has Randy Orton, through being in the ring with McIntyre on several occasions this year, through doing his homework, through the ambushes, does Orton have what it takes and certainly have the right game plan in mind to keep down this warrior? Nonetheless, the stage is set. Cardiff, Wales, the World Heavyweight title is on the line on behalf of SmackDown. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the world Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Big fight feel for SmackDown's respective portion of tonight's Clash at the Castle doubleheader main event. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Randy Orton, the challenger. Drew McIntyre, the champion. A whole lot of writing on this contest. But it all comes to a head in the middle of Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales. This is Clash of the Castle, and we are set for some action on behalf of SmackDown. 
The bell has sounded. We are underway. McIntyre trying to come out hot or inside steps him and down goes Drew. And what did we talk about on Friday Night SmackDown 48 hours ago? McIntyre better not come into this looking to see red too much. Better not let his anger and frustration get the best of him because Randy Orton may just want that out of McIntyre. Nonetheless, McIntyre, no collar and elbow tie-up, no feeling out process tonight. He knows Randy Orton very well, knows the mind games, knows the game plan, knows the arsenal. These men have been to war in the past. They're ready to do it again. Randy Orton, however, you gotta believe he is coming in with some kind of strategy after sitting back and watching how McIntyre retained his title against Edge, against AJ Styles, Austin Theory, John Cena, Braun Breaker, and even himself throughout this year. What is Orton gonna throw at McIntyre that the Warrior has not seen yet? Of course, Randy Orton may argue that he has an X Factor in the three most dangerous letters in WWE, that being the RKO that has left McIntyre laying on numerous occasions over the last five weeks. You gotta wonder what the condition of McIntyre is. As we mentioned just 48 hours ago on SmackDown, the shot with the baseball bat over the head, Randy Orton following that up with an RKO on top of those steel equipment boxes. Orton got the last laugh on SmackDown, but will he get the last laugh tonight? And taking things to the outside. See Randy Orton giving McIntyre a bit of what he, what he was expecting almost out of Drew. And that's just pushing pedal to the metal. No waste in motion. Randy Orton looking to become world heavyweight champion once again here tonight. A man who has already had a Hall of Fame career. But ever since he was forced to join Friday Night SmackDown back in the spring, he has had one goal. And that's getting back to the top of the mountain. Randy Orton has obviously picked up some victories over the last few weeks, defeating Rey Mysterio in the season premiere of SmackDown, Dominic Mysterio two weeks ago. Now he gets the world champion tonight who has just been on another level than anybody in world wrestling entertainment this year. Randy Orton, remember, he was forced to join Friday Night SmackDown after a Hell in a Cell loss back at Backlash, which was a loser leaves all matchup. A situation where the WWE title was on the line and a situation that only happened because of how destructive Randy, Randy Orton excuse me, was this time last year bleeding into the beginning of 2023 as the WWE Champion on Raw. Take nothing away from Orton at this stage in his career, just as dangerous as ever and is very much a viable contender to take down McIntyre. Nonetheless, this is... A near homecoming for Drew McIntyre tonight, just seven hours away from where we will be less than two weeks from now for Friday Night SmackDown in Scotland, McIntyre's homeland. I'd imagine Drew is looking to return home as the World Heavyweight Champion. Randy Orton looking to spoil that homecoming for Drew. And McIntyre again, seeing a little bit of red tonight. A lot of enthusiasm out of McIntyre, a lot of aggression out of the champion. Goes for the tomahawk chop, miscalculates it, and now Randy Orton takes advantage, and that is what McIntyre really needs to be careful of. You do not see Drew making many mistakes, especially in his world championship defenses. If McIntyre makes one too many, Orton's gonna strike, and it's gonna spell the end of Drew's illustrious reign as champion. Orton again, back out on the outside. And a hangman swinging neck breaker, and Drew goes down to the floor of Principality Stadium. Never count out Drew, as we mentioned. We have seen him with his back up against the wall, whether it was against Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, John Cena, even the young Braun Breaker, Edge, Randy Orton, Austin Theory, Styles, all these men that McIntyre has been in the ring with this year, all viable challengers, all people who could have easily beaten Drew McIntyre, but at the end of the day, McIntyre just wanted it more, had that second, third gear that his opponents didn't have, was able to rise from the ashes like a phoenix and retain his world title. That is what McIntyre has made success of in 2023, and he's hoping to do the same tonight. Randy Orton coming alive there, picking up the pace, and McIntyre feels the brunt of it. And Orton not going for the cover. An unintentional nod of respect, realizing McIntyre still has life left in him. 
Heads to the top and drops an axe hammer of his own. And now the cover to win the world title. Not just yet, McIntyre still alive. A little bit of frustration out of Orton there, but he better realize who he's in the ring with. Orton cannot let his want, his greed to become world champion take him off focus tonight. McIntyre surely won't mind, and he'll take advantage as Orton was second guessing himself, almost trying to recalibrate his strategy. And Drew took advantage, now the world champion starting him out some momentum. Now McIntyre with the strength advantage. Nice Michinuku driver, dead center of the canvas. No cover just yet. Elects for the lariat that knocks Randy Orton on his ass. Goes for the boot. McIntyre got to slow down there. Orton finds a window of opportunity. And just once again, McIntyre's momentum comes to a screeching halt. Drew has been a little overzealous in this contest. You got to call it what it is. Respect is there. Champion for a reason. Randy Orton wants McIntyre to make a mistake, and so far, I think Drew is starting to play into that. Never count out the champion like we mentioned. he got to acknowledge that he's got to be careful, especially in there with a master manipulator of mind games like Orton. However, off the spine buster, and he'll one count. Has Orton played his cards right? Does he have McIntyre in a state that nobody has had him in throughout his world title reign? Again, Drew ragdoll at Orton off the top. And now McIntyre scales the ropes. Uncharacteristic by the world champion. This is what we're talking about. Luckily, it works out. McIntyre drops the elbow of the challenger into the cover. But Randy Orton is still in this fight. McIntyre throwing some caution in the win that time. High stakes, works out, high reward. But you got to acknowledge the fact that McIntyre very rarely heads up to the top rope. Maybe it's almost a, on the flip side, an unintentional nod of respect, realizing he's got to dig down deep to take care of Orton. Meanwhile, Orton sees window. And has got McIntyre in a precarious situation. DDT, signature out of the arsenal of the Apex Predator. McIntyre, oh no, might have been out, but Orton's going to ensure RKO! That's it! New world champion in Cardiff! Not just yet, McIntyre kicks out! The world champion comes alive! Orton went for the combination. Didn't waste any time going for that... Or I should say, didn't waste time going for the pinfall after the DDT. Elected for the RKO. However, Drew McIntyre still in the world championship fight. Oh, well, wait a minute now. The hell has Randy Orton got in mind as McIntyre has rolled to the outside. Orton now being uncharacteristic and drops an axe hammer that works out for him. Now Orton's starting to go to that place, come absolutely unglued, just trying to beat the hell out of the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. Randy Orton, oh my goodness. Randy Orton is willing to turn this thing into a Straight beat down, cold-hearted one at that. If need be to leave with the big gold belt. McIntyre might have survived that RKO, but how much is left? Now oh, wait a minute. Now what? Orton, power bomb on the apron. Oh, swings out with it, and McIntyre might have just exploded a shoulder on the edge of the ring. Right underneath those ring skirts, ladies and gentlemen, are steel pipes that hold this ring together. And McIntyre just went shoulder first right into him. The champion, oh wait a minute, somehow springing to his feet. And McIntyre, how the hell is he coming alive right now? This is what we talked about. McIntyre just has that second or third gear that a lot of superstars don't have. Third gear or not, Randy Orton still has got the champion hurt. And once again, the momentum taken out from the sails. And Orton's looking to go for a second RKO. There it is! Orton's going to do it! No! McIntyre's still in it! You have got to be kidding! The second RKO does not do the trick. 
McIntyre trying to get back into this. Back against the wall. Going to start throwing lefts and rights. And Orton knocks McIntyre back down to the canvas. Drew is surviving, but he is not thriving. And Randy Orton's in control, at least for the moment. The world champion in desperate need of some offense. Down goes Orton. McIntyre has survived one RKO. He has survived two RKO. You can't tell me if Orton hits a third one, McIntyre's going to be able to come alive. There's just absolutely no way. McIntyre knocks Orton down again. There is a sense of urgency in the eyes of the world champion right now. Do or die. He cannot allow Randy Orton to get back into this thing. Orton thrown to the outside. McIntyre, like a dragon through the sky, soars down and crushes Randy Orton at ringside. That fire-breathing son of a bitch Drew McIntyre with his heart still pumping and blood flowing through the veins, looking to retain the world championship tonight in a sold out Principality Stadium. And Orton, counter. And McIntyre, down again. This is what the world title is all about. Who's got enough left in the tank as Randy Orton takes his eye off the ball? Dare I say, a rookie mistake out of the future Hall of Famer. He cannot allow McIntyre that window of chance. Huge belly to belly sends Orton for a ride. Orton needing to use the ropes to get to his feet. Look how desperate Orton is to keep fighting through the pain. Once again, we are back inside the ring tonight here at Clash of the Castle with a situation of the pendulum momentum swinging back and forth. Orton goes, McIntyre goes. Now Orton with the reverse Boston on the World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre may just pass out from the pain here and unintentionally give up the World Heavyweight Championship. McIntyre's gotta be hurting right now. Remember that power bomb on the apron and the swing into the steel. McIntyre, Claymore, how the hell did he just pop up with that? Randy Orton kicks out. You have got to be kidding me. McIntyre with a Claymore kick. Oh my goodness. Cardiff Wales is in disbelief. McIntyre's in disbelief. Orton's bell is rung on the outside of the ring. Unless the matchup rolls on. This is what being the face of SmackDown, being one of the premier superstars of world wrestling entertainment is all about. Do you want to be the man? Do you want to be the world champion? We'll prove it when the lights are all bright. Orton back inside the ring, but does not get the result he's hoping for. Speaks too soon as Orton pulls the rug out from underneath the feet. And McIntyre, again, back and forth. Couple haymakers there. These guys gonna start throwing live rounds if need be. And there's the reverse. Down goes Orton. Man, what is it gonna take? We have seen the best of these two men. In this matchup, but they're still fighting. Orton's down, McIntyre now heads to the middle rope. Big time leg drop, holy hell. The tree trunk legs of McIntyre coming down on the windpipe of the Viper. And now McIntyre goes for a Kimura lock. Uncharacteristic, but desperate is the champion. Digging down deep in the bag of tricks, but Randy Orton has done his homework. Rolls out from it. And a Luthez. Randy Orton. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Hold that thought cover here. And McIntyre kicks out. One thing we have seen throughout this match, we talked about how McIntyre's got that second or third gear. Randy Orton is matching Drew McIntyre's energy throughout this matchup. Somehow, someway, Orton sends McIntyre crushing to the outside. And Randy Orton, again, is meeting Drew McIntyre at the dance. Second, third gear for the Viper tonight. Tooth and nail battle over the World Heavyweight Championship. 
Dare I say, McIntyre has had some tough battles throughout this reign, but this has absolutely been the toughest. World titles on the line. Who is going to outlast the other? As once again, McIntyre is now trying to get the momentum on his side of the playing field. Orton back inside the ring. McIntyre hangs him up on the ropes momentarily. See the pace starts to slow down a little bit as fatigue sets in as if it didn't set in a few minutes ago. It's certainly set in now, but endurance is running low. Tanks are getting close to E. One final blow, whether it be another Claymore or a third RKO. You gotta believe that one final shot, whoever gets it in, is gonna leave Cardiff Wales as the World Heavyweight Champion. Warren mouthing off to McIntyre, almost telling him just to stay down, give up, live to fight another day, and give me the World Heavyweight title. Tell you what, no matter the winner, Cardiff Wales is getting a fight of a lifetime between Orton and McIntyre tonight. Orton wanted this world title match for months on end, not looking to see it slip through his fingers. Orton hung up against the ropes and Drew McIntyre looking to stomp out the life of the Viper. And a Glasgow kiss out of nowhere. The same headbutt that retained the championship over AJ Styles last month on SmackDown, but Randy Orton counters. How the hell is Orton still in this? Glasgow kiss, and moments later, Orton's on top. And now the cover for a new world tight champion. Not just yet. You're witnessing a live game of chess right now. McIntyre with a Claymore kick out of nowhere. McIntyre retains the World Heavyweight Championship. It's as if that Glasgow kiss reminded Randy Orton to wake up and fight, but ultimately Drew got the final shot. Here is your winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. That is now three opportunities that Randy Orton has thrown by the wayside. No more chances, back of the line. Drew McIntyre stakes a firm claim. Flag at the top of the mountain, the face of Friday Night SmackDown. And that Scottish breathing son of a bitch is still the World Heavyweight Champion. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood.